Several Tennessee residents woke up Saturday morning to discover a river of water in their yards. News 3's Carla Fields has the details. That's right, Mike. Heavy amounts of rain and a breach levee are to blame for thousands of Millington residents homeless tonight due to excessive flooding. Just a few miles north of Memphis, floodwaters rushed through several neighborhoods and businesses, destroying literally everything in its path. Water currents moved so quickly that families only had enough time to escape before their homes were taken under by water. Here before it got too high, it was only up to about my hips when I left. Mm -hmm. Wellington resident Margaret Jones <laughs> left all of her belongings behind, including five furry friends. Cats are okay. That, that was my main concern because I've got five cats. He said they were wet and upset that they were okay. But there's... I've been, here, I've been in the same spot for 21 years. Although few people tried to drive through the flowing currents, others were rescued by boat. Just a lot of rain coming down, a lot of water running, a lot of houses. A lot of water has gotten in people's houses. They're waiting right now for the levee. They're saying it might break. If it does, it's going to rise for another few feet. So everybody's just trying to get out of their homes and get everything off the floor. Well, that was my apartment. Yesterday I turned in my keys and my lease let up and wow, glad I don't live here anymore. It's amazing what 24 hours can do. There are numerous shelters available for victims of the flooding and city officials say it could take weeks before power is returned to all neighborhoods. The conditions are improving. Uh, we still have a lot of debris uh, in the roadway. We're getting all that cleared out uh, today. We still have power outages in several neighborhoods. Now Mike Inspector Fields said only one burglary was reported from flood victims and those suspects have been arrested. The items stolen were all game systems and accessories. Reporting live from the newsroom, Carla Fields, News 3. Thanks, Carla. The Shelby County Health Department says the flooded areas of Millington are contaminated with raw sewage. And residents should bring all trash and debris to the curb for proper disposal. Just one day after floods spread across West Tennessee, residents are slowly sorting through debris and what's left of what was once their home. This weekend's overflow of rain was too much to hold the levee that breached in Millington on the naval base. Early Saturday morning, residents were evacuated by boat from their homes, told only to grab whatever they could carry. The flood waters came from an overflow of water from the Mississippi River, causing several neighborhoods and businesses to flood. Millington resident Margaret Jones says it happened so fast she did not have time to grab her cats. That's what's freaking everybody out how fast it happened. What happened? No, but it was 